I thought today I might show you an example of how I kind of create thank me later systems. So this is very like random, but I was packing away um, birthday decorations and I thought to myself, last birthday we had was a girl birthday. So I did an experiment of wrapping up uh, the bunting. You will see this in a second. It'll make more sense. I did an experiment of wrapping up the bunting using an older coat hanger so that when we set up the bunting for the next birthday, it's easier to kind of be a, a, C, a C person and doing ropes. I don't <laughs> I have no idea. Anyhow, I wanted to do a video where I show you examples of how I do things in the now, in the present, so that in the future it's easier. And then I start setting up systems and routines and ways of doing things where it's all about streamlining, simplifying, making our lives easier. So one of those ways is I tend to always have the rule clean as you go. So do you clean as you go? Do you actually as you're cooking and you're finished with like ingredients, do you put them back in the fridge or do you just kind of let the whole kitchen be trashed and then be very demotivated? Or do, are you like me and you kind of tell yourself, back away as you go, because it'll be easier. So that's my number one tip for me personally. I tend to always try to leave a room tidier than when I came into it. I try to pack away as I go. I try to set up systems so that things are far easier to pack away and keep tidy. And of course, the big one is reducing the amount of things I have in my home. So, so far what I can think of is doing the bunting, pack awaying thing. You'll get a peek into our like birthday box. And I'm also going to modify something that I've owned for a really long time. And I can't believe I never thought I could actually make the thing that I own better than what it was before. So, so my channel is just full of mysteries and surprises, even to myself. So <laughs> that's what this video is going to be about. So the next part you're going to see is probably the bunting. I don't know. Just, just keep, just hang on tight. In my room, I use the place storage area under my bed. For storing things, which includes our birthday, um, hang on. So, in this box that I just pulled out from underneath my bed, this is all of our birthday stuff. So, that way, when a birthday comes along, I just open the box, and I can get what I need from the box, so... All right, I'll show you. In the box, I keep another box. This box is where we put the birthday cards that my husband makes or draws in for the kids. So every birthday, he will draw a funny picture, normally incorporating him. Another tip I'll give you for how we sort of do simple living type stuff or make it easier. Maybe it's because I have a ton of kids. But I realized a few years ago if I buy cards with the number, the age of the child on the front, then I don't have to be like, what year did they get this card? So my husband does hilarious pictures. And I would have shown you in the organizing my closet video when I showed you his bedside table. He keeps his textures or markers and fine liners and stuff in his bedside table so that again, when the birthday comes, he can just grab that stuff out. He's not walking all around the house trying to search for textures that work. So these are really special to us. These are the main cards that we save for the kids and they're all in this one box. And the box is not full and I have thought, eh, but I don't know. It's, you know, some traditions it's worth keeping the things. It's not about just throwing away everything that we have. And I just realized that 
there might be things in here that I should declutter. Let's get more comfortable. I did invest a few years ago with buying like reusable things like Grimm's birthday rings and stuff like that so that every year I'm not buying more and more stuff. I've kind of like, I've bought it and now I have it. So I have wooden um, like numbers. They look like this. And I do have some birthday badges and stuff like that that I have found at thrift stores. But they fit in these Systema boxes that I got from Woolworths. So I have three of these. So this one is birthday badges or like cake decoration thingies and the numbers. This is the silver like candle holders. And I have purchased for each of my children an individual, um, like, decoration thingy. So, this is one, I don't know, do you want to see every single one? And then, like, this is for my son. And I just kind of picked whatever I thought the kids would like. So, that's another one. And so, when it's their birthday, what I do... I get out the birthday rings and I set them up on the table. I get the candles and I put them in the silver thingy. I put my candles and then the cake is separate. So, hey, how's that for like super amazing hygiene? We're not like blowing all over the cake anymore. But where I think maybe I need to re-gift or declutter is I found this box of unused candles in a little miniature Systema box on hard rubbish. They're literally a container with candles in them that have never been burnt, which is, it really blows my mind what people just literally throw in the trash. And I put them in here, I think because I was like, I don't wanna deal with it right now and I just put them in here, but maybe I should pass these along to someone who wants to spit on their cake. So I'll pass them along. This is like I'm decluttering and I never even thought to look in here. All right. So here, here I am packing away as I go. All right, what else do we have? We have some tablecloths for birthdays. And this is what I was talking about. I got a coat hanger and I wrapped up the girls bunting so that when it's time to set it up, one person just kind of holds the end of the coat hanger and the other person hangs the bunting up in the room. Easy peasy, hey? This is a bag for, like a fabric bag for presents, so I don't have to use wrapping paper. Another thing that I found on Hard Rubbish that has never been used, so I'll pass that on to another cake spitter. And then I made for my girls, I made birthday crowns. So they just felt birthday crowns that they like wearing when it's their birthday. And the boys don't want crowns. I am equal opportunity employer, but the boys do not want crowns. So they don't have crowns. I also have, if we ever get a helium balloon, one of these... Um, like sand weight things. This one actually broke apart, but I just taped it. I just fixed it, didn't throw it away, and we still use that. And these are glow sticks that I buy for New Year's Eve. So, there you go. They live in there. This all lives in here. I also have a Superman sheet, but that is currently in the wash because of the birthday we had the other day. And it just all kind of fits in here. And then we just slide back under the bed and happy times. This is the bunting that I will be taking down. And I actually already flung off one half of the birthday banner. So that's today's job. When they had the sale on all the stuff for elderly people at Aldi, you know, they have like, theme times, um, so I don't know, they, they have these grabber things 
they're super handy because then I can reach up and grab my birthday banner and get it down again and then I just fold this up and put it in the birthday tub. down without breaking my neck and on the end oh no I'm all tangled up on the end of the bunting I made these loops so it makes it easier to kind of hang up the first one but here here's my theory if I put the loop over the coat hanger then I can in a non tangled up way uh, wrap up the bunting. And I did this for several reasons, all right? I did it because one, I'm creative. It's a curse and blessing. And two, I did not want to continue to buy like paper streamers that would get hung up for one night and then ripped down and thrown away. So yeah, I just, I think one day I realized how environmentally terrible and unnecessary that was that I never wanted to buy that again. I forgot I had children. No, I'm just joking. This is where I think that other other YouTubers that have children you like pack your kids away in the basement or something, don't you? Put a movie on or something because I obviously have a lot of background noise, but it's just what it is. So what I was saying was I have made the bunting and I've made things like the birthday banner and I've got those like reusable, almost like traditional to us things, not just like no single use stuff because the thought of my lovely husband leaving the house to go and work and work hard for the family for me to then buy a single use item, put it up for birthday, pull it down, throw it away. I would always rather have my husband home. So that's one way that I try to be like a good housewife and housekeeper is thinking about the the trade-off the trade-off of a single-use item like streamers and balloons and disposable cups and stuff like that of not having my husband home so that's my own personal conviction I did go through a very long season where I used paper plates in the evenings when my husband was a shift worker but it's all about seasons isn't it and giving ourselves our vitamins of grace this is my handbag. I got it from a thrift store for like, I don't remember. I got it for money. It's Colorado brand and it's leather and it's really nice, but it's very annoying. So I'll show you what is in my bag. In my bag I have my, this is like my green wallet. So I got it from a thrift store, of course, for like 50 cents. And I have my driver's license on one side and my frequently used cards on the other side and that's it. That's my whole wallet. And then I have this coin purse which you would have seen in my clean the van video which I'll link for you. This coin purse was just in my van doing nothing. I have now put all of my thrift store cards. <laughs> my thrift store like um, loyalty cards are in here. And then what else do I have? I have my glasses cleaner. So I always have to clean my glasses when I am going to do YouTube videos. And then I have a doctor's 
a doctor's note. <laughs> a doctor's a thing. And I have some cash. Cash is king and some receipts and tissue. So I can get rid of the receipts and tissue. And then I have 10 cents. So, super rich, $20.10. And then right down the bottom of the bag is the pen breeding factory. So just like in my bedside table, it seems like I still think I'm the kind of person that needs to write copious notes. And I have no knowledge of these two pens being in there. This one I thought was handy because it's a miniature. So that stays in my handbag. The thing that's been driving me nuts is these internal pockets. So it's gonna be hard to see. Can I use my body as like a behind to show you? Inside the bag is these like extra little pockety things for cards and, and junk and no. And every time I go to like put my hand in the bag, I get trapped on the little pockety things. So I'm gonna unpick the thingies to make my life far more easier. Just felt like this wouldn't be the true experience if I didn't show you the unpicking this and then maybe you can see better what I'm actually unpicking. All in an effort to simplify my experience of packing away my wallet and phone and stuff. And whenever I do stuff like this, I always sit there wondering why didn't I think of this months or years ago. Mama! Yeah, baby? Dad. You're all done? All right, James. Yeah. I unpicked it all. Oh no, I forgot the rest of this. Mama. Yes, James. Bed. Do you want to go to bed? No. Not no yet. Bed. Ta da! <laughs> You're so cute. One more pocket on this side. because that's where I want to keep my um, my my glasses cleaner and I guess any secret zipper pocket things it has a zipper on the outside and then just that pocket on the other side so easy yeah I guess that was kind of my video is showing you like the simple way we do like birthday type stuff also showing people that you can have something that you really like but there might be something about it that you're sort of ah, i don't know instead of rushing out to grab a new handbag i just took out the bits that were totally useless to me so i'm a huge fan of not keeping all the bits just because they're part of the original thing I know it's it's it is a contentious issue because there's a lot of people out there that are like no it's part of the set I'm not getting rid of it but I'm a reformed it's part of the set kind of person so I will throw these in the trash I will enjoy the rest of my day with my family and I hope you're enjoying the rest of your day and yeah on um, the next video I don't know you see behind me when Beth and Leah opened up the bookcase, that is going to be like a really big... Oh, here we go. <laughs> that is going to be a really big job, so I will be decluttering the bookcase in 
three separate videos because yeah it's gonna be a big deal but now what do we have to say yeah 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 are we gonna say bye 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 and I'll see you later see you bye bye <laughs>